in this mod review, we're going to take a look at the DAFXF105 Plus Crawler for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the DAFXF105 Plus Crawler. So this is basically a whole heap of awesome DAF mods put into one and it's at the Kenworth dealer and we're in Elko at the moment. So let me show you a few different variants quickly. So this is the XF105, as you can see it looks very nice, there's another kind and it also comes with the classic crawler now all of these mods were in euro truck simulator 2 and now they've been brought over to american trucks which is awesome now is it going to be a worthwhile mod or will it just be a waste of time well just stay tuned and we'll have a look so first of all let's jump on over to the well let's go i know there's the crawler right we've seen that one that is great for off-road and i've done many off-road maps and it works really well. Uh, let's choose just the standard XF and see what we can do. So first of all, there is a heap of different cabins to choose. So there's your first one, Space, Space 2, Space 3. Uh, there's a rigid, the rigid chassis that you can have there for those people that like to have the drive around with a rigid. I don't know if a trailer is in this. I'll have to have a look. Uh, if it does win the weekly drive, we can do a rigid. Uh, just put it in the comments below to let me know. Uh, then there is the Space Cab, Space Plus, uh, Space Cab Plus, Space Plus Rigid, you know, and then we have the Super Space with the Super Space 2, Super Space 3, and Super Space Rigid. So there we go. Many, many, many different kinds of, uh, of DAFs to choose from there. It's just amazing. I'm actually going to choose that one there, the Space, the original one. I know it's got the, uh, oh, hang on, let's go Space Plus. There we go. I like this one because it reminds me of um, the old truck that I used to drive. So <laughs> that was a, what was that, an LF that was, not an XF though. Uh, then we go over to the chassis and uh, we've got different kinds. So the 4x2, uh, 4x2 extra tank now, the tanks and that are over this side that you see so there's the extra tank low deck low deck with extra tank low deck small tanks uh small tanks what what's that small tanks extra tank small tanks extra tank it's funny isn't it uh and then we've got the uh, six by two six two tag lift eight by four uh then there's six two four and a six by uh, six by four. So, <laughs> look, there's heaps of different configurations there. Uh, even a uh, rigid was in there as well. We saw. Now, uh, if we quickly step back over to the rigid, while I think about it, uh, and then we go to the chassis. Here's the different rigids you could get. There's um, there's one there. There's your uh, FAR. I like to call that fart with tag lift. Uh, FAS, and there is the uh, side sides uh, curtain sliders there curtain sliders so you can just slide your curtains back there and does it have the uh, ta the uh, no it doesn't have the tail lift no it doesn't it doesn't look like it anyway doesn't matter um, but anyway that's uh, very similar to what I used to drive so I like that but uh, look back over to where we were and let's go to there we go that's what I'm going to use today uh, I'm going to use the uh, let's do the just the let's do the 6x4 how about that 6x4 configuration uh, engines now engines that you can choose are Packard engines so you've got your MX265 300 340 375 so I'm just going to leave it on that there uh, the transmissions you've got your 12 speed which is more than what I ever had. I uh, only had six auto. Uh, and then here is the interior. As you can see, looks very nice as you would expect. And there is the exclusive. So a bit of wood grain there. Uh, I particularly like the standard one, believe it or not. Different colors. Now there is a nice selection here of, of different skins and stuff like that. 
Uh, this one here, you can change the colors. I think that's meant to be a lady on the side there. It's very hard to tell as it's... Uh, the, oh, yeah, it is. There you go. Um, a lady on the side there. It just looks very low quality. Uh, then we've got the lady again with some logo, some transport company. Space Cab Limited Edition. Don't know if we got those in Australia or not, but anyway. Uh, the XF105, I really like that. Uh, you can get that in many, many, many different colours. I believe one that we've seen, well, one that I've seen here is the standard one. I've seen that before here in Australia. Uh, and a blue one, I believe. I saw once. Uh, many different colours, your reds, whites, blues, blah, blah, blah. Even, this has a lot of 50k stuff in there as well, so... Um, for those people who like his work, it has been uh, incorporated in here as well. So, there you go. A few different skins there to choose from. Um, 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 look, I don't know. I This is really hard for me. But I think I'm just going to use that one there. 50k stuff. It's really nice. Uh, you can go and choose different colors if you want. So, make it black and white or, or whatever, really. Uh, let's choose red. Uh, we'll change the white to, uh, yeah, let's make that, let's make that black. And then that one there will make white. There we go. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Uh, now off to the accessories. There is so many accessories in here. It is unbelievable. Now, if I do miss any dots, guys, I apologize. Um... I'm just trying to show you, give you an idea on what this mod has in it. Um, and then from there, you can make your decisions. If you want to download it and test it yourself, please, the link is in the description. Or as always, guys, um, try these mods before you make your decision. I really do encourage you to do that. Now, uh, down the bottom there, we've got truck flaps on the front there. So you've got black or white. Uh, I'm going to use the black ones. Uh, we have a little lip at the front there which oh sorry that is the number plate uh license plate standard or license plates custom uh you can put your own custom plate on there so if you want to have boobies written on the front of your number plate you can do that um that'll just be <coughs> that'll just be a matter of changing the file inside of the the mod itself where it, you know where it says custom no big deal uh other than that you can have your different license plates here um, if you want to have the different uh, um, grill guards as well heaps of different grill guards you can have lights whatever you want it's just crazy what you can do with this I actually like the chrome uh, I'm gonna use the chrome one but we'll keep having a look uh, and there you go they all fit so nice look at that uh, I believe that is the 50k uh, one of some of the 50k stuff so uh, lights, you can put lights around the outside. Not going to do that today, but just showing you you can put uh, on some lights. Uh, that is, that's the lower grill guard. Then we have the uh, lights down the bottom here. You can change these lights. That's as close as I can zoom in, guys. If you focus on that there, you will see it, that they do change. And there we go. I'm going to leave it on that one. Daytime running lights. And then we have uh, door steps. You can change your door steps if you want. Have a look down there. As they change, blah, blah, blah. That's, you know, a common thing. And then we're going up here where you can change the grill. Now, this is really nice. You can have painted grill, your chrome grill, uh, stock grill, which is what's on there. Um, chrome with lights. And you can add on different kinds of lights and go nuts, really. Uh, I'm going to leave that as it is, as I'm going to paint that. And then there's, you know, a couple of other ones there. Uh, I'm just going to paint that and leave it as is for now. But you can go and put on so many different lights. It's not funny. Um, your license plate. If you want to add a license plate up here, you can add a license plate. Or you can go and add spotlights in three different spots, which is pretty cool. I like that idea. You can add uh, some bumpers, some bull bars, 
Uh, there we go. There's some bull bars there. Uh, they all seem to be painted though. So if you don't like the painted, then um, unfortunately you got to, you know, that's tough. You got to make do with what you got. Uh, look, I'm going to stick on those lights. Uh, let's see, do they work? Yeah, they do. Uh, I did see it flick on there. There you go. They did work. Um, moving up a little bit here. There is your... Uh, that's that little painted bit there. You can paint it or plastic or stock. I think I'll leave it stock. I think it looks good stock. I'm really trying hard not to lose my spot because there is dots flying everywhere. Um, just over there, that is a plate. If you want to put on your number plate, you've got a couple of different um, choices there. Uh, this is your seats inside there. Now, I don't know if you can see them properly. Have a look at that one. Uh, you'll see a few different kinds there. Let's go back up to the top, sorry. Uh, there's blue, there's brown, there's grey, red. And uh, I notice... Yeah, there we go. That actually looks quite... Some of those look nice, don't they? But I love how you can change them and go for whatever's different sort you want. And you can really customize the truck to look very different. Uh, license plate there. That is the front grille here. Uh, you can change that to chrome, paint, or you can go chrome, uh, chrome again, chrome light. And so you add lights in that. Stock light and just standard stock. There we go. Uh, let's just paint that. I won't put lights on there again. Uh, it's going to take too long. Uh, the DAF logo, you can uh, paint that or stock. Let's just leave it stock. It looks quite good. Uh, that is your uh, thing that goes across the top there. I think it's Russian. I don't know. And then we have that little bar across there, which you can paint or leave it stock. I actually like that painted. I really do. I think that's a lot, lot better painted. Now, um, over here, we have the panel for the interior. There's the driver's plate, which it works with Sissel's Mega Pack, guys, which is really cool. Um, then we have some more stuff for the interior there, as you can see. Uh, we'll have a look at that inside there. It'll be able to it'll look a lot clearer inside. The panel on the front there, again, the inside. Then we have uh, doormats and stuff like that on the floor. Floor mats, sorry. Um, we'll have a look at those again on the inside. The exclusive stuff there on the inside. Again, we'll have a look on the inside. There's heaps of stuff there. A sensor. I never understood what that sensor does. Uh, I've seen that. I, when I was driving my DAF, I, I did see that on there, and I never knew what it was. Um, then you've got your co-driver's uh, plate. Then you've got your windshield dots. You can go and add on heaps of stuff there. And uh, little stickers for the side windows, if you can see those there. Trying not to lose my place, really am. And there is that one there. Look, I'm going to put on that one. I like that one there. The silhouette of the naked lady. Um, up the back there is the curtains. You can change curtains, all different kinds, different colors. And there's heaps to choose from. Red, uh, browns, blacks. Uh, I think I'm just going to put on black for now that'll do um, that there let's let's click on that that's the main mirrors so you can change the main mirrors to plastic paint or chrome and you can add on different lights and stuff like that as well you can even add in the 50k little lollipop that that is underneath make sure you do what you do to the other side you do to the uh, yeah, one what you do to one side you do to the other um, here we go. Front mirrors. There's a few different front mirrors to choose from. You can add the long one in there or the just the standard Euro 6 one. Flags. You can add a custom flag. It is customizable, so you'll have to do that through, um, you know, open up the mod and customize it yourself. Interior light. There is a light bar for the top there. And you can go and add on, you know, a little little uh, light box if you want. Uh, I think I'm going to remove that. There we go. Sun visor. 
add on a different kinds of sun visors painted or whatever you want there's there's heaps there yeah we'll get rid of that mirror that's all good and uh, look I think I'm gonna use that one today that actually looks really cool on this truck light board that is the is that up the back there what's what's that let me just see I think that is the back isn't it backboard because it's not changing anything top board oh that actually might be on the inside that's why we can't see it it's on the inside of the truck that's right I remember um, then we have the yes we want to get rid of those thank you uh, the little wind deflectors on the side I actually like those on trucks I think they're pretty cool there's long ones green so you got a few different colors of red and uh, look I'm just gonna leave that that there like that I like them pretty damn cool uh, that's the mirrors that is the left flag that is the oh it's a TV on the inside is there there we go no sorry a picture on the back there see goes on the back wall picture keep calm and truck on that's pretty cool I like that a few different backboards which is really cool um, I'm gonna leave it like that there we go now I've lost my place again <laughs> oh it's terrible uh, top board which we can't see sun visor yes all right now up to the light bar uh, several different anchor points or you've got a few different choices here for your light bar if you like to see that actual bar there plenty plenty to keep you going with your lights strap heaps of lights on there guys more lights the better um, I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with I don't know I like that there there we go add some horns on the side let's go with let's go with thunder and we'll put thunder on that side and then I'll put a couple of spotlights on top there to make it look you know so you can see where you're going that one there there we go yep and there that one there there we go that looks pretty cool now uh, up to the very top there is the top spoiler so you can go the Euro 6 one or the standard I, I actually like the standard one on this uh, there's the backboard on the the in interior light backboard thing and then we have the adjust seat adjust seat might have a look at that on the inside door handles painted door handles chrome door handles or plastic whichever you want uh, the fender on the side there so you can go chrome paint stock or black uh, I'm just gonna go paint why not and then we have the mud flap you can go stock or paint which you can't really see until you spin it around there like that there you go um, and then we go down to the badge now you can change the badge just here if you want to have EEV ATE or the Euro 5 I'm just gonna put the Euro 5 one on fuel tanks chrome or paint um, I'm just gonna leave them stock because I'm gonna put side skirts on uh, the cover the deck plate you can put decking plate on the back there and there you go there's a few different choices there man I love my choices love how you can have heaps of choices with this and there you go um, let's put on yeah let's put on that one there um, what was that that was the fuel tanks yes the mud flaps yes making sure that we've selected everything yes 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 um, the chassis now you can paint the chassis or leave it stock uh, let's paint it normally I don't paint it but let's paint it side skirts you can have the oh okay so we had to remove something um, we can have painted or you can have little lights on the side if you want uh, I haven't got time for lights right now so we'll just leave it as stock uh, then we have the stone guards now for some reason it's down the bottom I don't know why we'll spin that around so we can have a look 
Uh, there's your open kind, so it's open at the top. Uh, plastic, uh, and there's paint closed. Paint open. Paint lowered and open. Then there's just your plastic. Plastic open at one end, then lowered. Uh, then there's those real nice ones, I like those. And then there, there we have painted ones. Look, I'm going to choose something different because I like... Where are they? If I can find them. There we go. Those ones there. I like those. I think they're really cool. They really do match this truck, I think. Now, there's mud flaps. Spin around and uh, check out the mud flaps here. So you've got daff, daff. There's uh, those ones. Um... And there's the S, there's DAF again. A few different kinds. There's no um, right there's no right side or suicide on the mud flaps, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll look whichever one you want to choose, I'm thinking let's have a look. Those ones there will do nicely. There we go. Now back over here we have the it's on the rear, so I gotta spin it round. So there's your reflector plate you can have on the back there. That's pretty cool. We'll have that. And the rear bumper. Spin that around every time. And there you go. You can select a couple of different kinds of rear bumper there. A custom kind. And uh, look, I like the painted custom one, I think. Although that is a lot of paint. So let's just have, th have that in sil silver. Um, too much paint makes it look silly. But uh, there we go. Oh, what's that? Yeah, alright, so we have to have... Oh, they're the wheel chocks, that's what they are. You can have wheel chocks on there as well, so... Um, look, I'm going to go change that back. And uh, have that chrome. Yes, we get rid of those wheel chocks. We don't have to have those. If I can get that dot there. There's wheel chocks, yes, you can... Uh, let's let's change our rims, shall we? What's that? Did we get that? Yes, we did. Front tires now. Uh, if you have the DAF crawler, you can go and have some off-road tires on there. Or there's a couple of different crawler tires. There's those ones there as well, but not recommended for the standard truck. Other than that, you've just got your trail ma master sort of... What are they? trail master tires yeah and there's your standard ones there I like how you've got the low profile tires and you can have the riding runner on the side there as well uh, I'm gonna use those the low profiles uh, just your standard rims for ATS let's use chrome standard chrome just for now um, again guys most uh, people use the um, you know custom rims that you can get because there's so many different choices for custom rims now and they really do make it uh, a lot better with custom rims so there we go there's some low profiles and I'm just gonna leave those standard and we'll go back over here make sure those tires yep uh, what tires do we put on there Trailmaster. what have we got Dimax on there Trial Master, that's what we want. Trial Master, not Dimax. Trial Master, there we go. And custom, uh, put this, sorry, the chrome standard with chrome nuts. There we go. Um, spinning it around, here we go. That is, uh, what's that? That is the. Oh, I can't remember what that is. Well, we can't see it anyway. License plate. There we go. License plate standard or custom. That's what that is. Uh, I'm just going to leave it standard. And then we go over there is the wheel chocks again, but we're going to leave those. Uh, your chassis, stock or paint. Side skirts. On the back there, you've got fire extinguisher or you can have two fire extinguishers. Don't know why you'd want two, but anyway, you can have two just in case one's faulty, I guess. Um... That's your uh, interior badge thing. And then we have... That is the shovel on the back there. 
So you can have it painted or just standard. I'm going to leave it standard. I think it looks quite good like that. That's your chassis. There's your side skirts. That is your... That's that light thing again. Uh, door handles. Main mirrors. And then we have the... Uh, the mirror on the front. There was a side mirror on the front there. That's what that is. Uh, no, no. I'm not going to put that on. Just going to leave that because of those little side things. I like those. And there you go. There is a whole heap of dots there. I think... I've got them all. If I haven't got them all, guys, uh, it's just, as I said, it's just to show you what you can do. There's heaps and heaps of stuff to go through. So apologies if I didn't get them all. Uh, there's your flag. Uh, there's your main mirrors there. Uh, again, you can select your lollipops. Uh, your GPS. So it's got a couple there from Sissel. Driver's plate. DAF steering wheel. I mean, here you go. Here's some more steering wheels. Look at that. They look cool. Look really nice, actually. Um, standard one. There's your standard with some other stitching. Grey. Exclusive. And there's wood. And there's a whole heap of Sissel's Mega Pack ones, which are really cool. Look, I don't know what I want to do. I think I like that um, in grey. Let's choose that in grey. Uh, again, you can use uh, put your knob on the steering wheel if you want. Uh, leave that off for this one. Um, what do we got there on the floor? There, there is your console. You can add in a whole heap of different stuff, uh, some tissues for your issues, or whatever it is. Look at heaps of stuff there from Sissels that you can add in there. It's just crazy. Um, and then we'll go down to the floor there. You can add in some more stuff so pizza box or or whatever you want some magazines we'll chuck on there um heaps and heaps of stuff dash dots guys dash dots you can go crazy with your dash dots and put on whatever you want uh, a book you know there's heaps of stuff there uh windshield dots again uh, you can have more stuff hanging in there it's just crazy the amount of stuff that you can put in here um, that is your cabin light, I believe, the interior light. So I'm going to leave that. Not a big fan of that. Uh, what's that? Plumbop. I don't know what that is. It might be a Christmas ornament, is it? Um, then we've got a whole heap of stuff in there. SpongeBob. So Sissel's Mega Pack works in there really well. There's your sun visor. Um, moving up. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that is the front mirror, co-driver's plate, and then we have the seat. Now, can we put a passenger in there? I love to put passengers in. There's Pokemon. Yes, you can. There we go. There's uh, heaps of people you can put in there. We'll put on Ozan. There we go. He can work on his computer while he's in the back there. Uh, while he's in the side there, sorry. There, you can see, the, you can see that uh, a little bit better now. Keep calm and truck on. Uh, I'm going to just add a red one in there, and that'll hopefully that'll light up later. We'll see that side mirror. There is the flag, and there is the mirrors. I think that's everything. If it's not, that's tough. Uh, let's just do confirm that. Look at that. That looks really, really nice. I just love how there's so many different variations you can choose for this truck. I mean, you can use the crawler. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Let's do a trade-in on the last mod. Thank you very much. Okay. And let's jump on the outside. And check it out. Driven by quality. Well. That's very nice. Um, look at that. It looks really cool, doesn't it? All the stuff that you've got there. Those chrome rims really do make that truck look nice. Look at it. Definitely, definitely looks nice. And available at the Kenworth dealer, as you would expect. As, uh, here in Australia, that's where you find your DAFs at the Kenworth dealer. Um, well, here in Brisbane, anyway. Let's see. So, spinning around. Let's start up the engine and let's listen. Listen. 
There's your Packard engine. Uh, turn on the lights. There's your lights are working. Uh, high beams. Flashes. Uh, any... No tag lift. We didn't do that this time. Horn. No beacons. Uh, wipers. Yes, wipers are working. That's great. Oh, air horn. I didn't try that. There's your air horn. There's your standard horn. Uh, moving around to the back here. There's your brake lights. Reverse lights are working. That's really good. I like it a lot. Uh, that's really nice, guys. I actually think this is really nice daff. Let's move to the in inside. Um looking around that actually looks really good have a look at that uh, on the back there oh no it's not lighting up that's a shame wipers are working let's push display cross your fingers yes display is working very good um, put on there average mile and blah 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 that sort of thing uh, wipers turn them off there we go, that turns them off. And uh, we'll turn the flashes off as well. And there we go. So this actually looks really, really nice. Let's see how it drives. So reversing up here, mirrors are working well. Some mods you see the mirrors just don't work well at all, or they don't work at all. Turns really nice. And uh, we'll just take it for a ride down the road here on the, uh, and go on the highway. Oh man, this is so smooth. It is so smooth to drive. Oh, unbelievable. This is really, really good for a Export from Euro trucks to American trucks. This is great. Oh, look at me over revving there. Sorry. Sorry, Daff. Whoa, there we go. It's not getting into gear. That is because I'm out of gears. That's why. Keep thinking it's an Eaton Fuller. It's not an Eaton Fuller. Well, there we go. Look, it's driving along quite nicely. Um,. And we can cruise there on, you know, look at that, 67. There's the banana brake. I mean, it's working really nice. It drives well. It looks good. It sounds good. Sounds like a DAF should. Uh, would have liked maybe an open pipe. Would have been really nice if you had an open pipe sound. I'm wondering if uh, Creech Bum's open pipe mod would work with this. That would be really interesting to try definitely um but guys uh, as always all the download link is in the description so please try that uh if you want to uh, uh have a go I, I really do urge you all to have a have a go of it first before you make a decision um but look that is pretty much it for this mod review uh well guys look it's uh, definitely a, a good mod but is it worthy of the weekly drive well that's not up to me that's up to you so if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts. And uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.